Hello and welcome to our guide on best practice for installing Windows updates. It may seem unusual that it's not advised to let them install on their own. This is because too many changes at once can mess up your Windows installation to the point where you need to perform a factory reset. That aside, uh, this is the method that we advise. Make sure that you're connected to the internet for this. I'm using an ethernet connection which is usually faster, but Wi-Fi will be fine if you don't have an ethernet cable. As this is a Windows 7 machine, start by opening your start menu and selecting control panel. On a Windows 8 machine, you can press the Windows key and X to display what's called the power user menu, where control panel is listed about two thirds of the way down. Now you've got control panel open, rather than going through the various headings, you can just use the search box at the top right, and you can type update in here, which filters the results in the main window. So click the Windows Update title. At the moment, I've got automatic updates turned off. If you click Change Settings on the left-hand side, you can edit this. My preferred option is Check for Updates, but let me choose whether to download and install them. This stops Windows downloading them whilst you want to be browsing the web and stops your connection speed slowing down. Once you've picked the setting of your choice, click OK and Windows would check for updates. So, after checking for updates, it seems there is an update for the Windows updater. So, let's run that first. As usual, it's a good idea to keep your machine plugged into power throughout the update process. Okay. Now our updater has restarted, we can see that there are 55 important updates and 27 optional ones. If you click the important updates text, it brings up a list of all the updates. We recommend to install these in groups of around 20. For now, let's just ignore the optional ones. Uh, if you click the checkbox at the top, it selects all, and then click it again to clear the selection. Now you can choose around 20 updates individually. You can click OK and then on the next screen click Install Updates. Now it's a waiting game while well, Windows downloads and installs the updates. OK, I cancelled mine early, but this screen shows how many have been installed and how many weren't. Um, sometimes there'll be error codes listed to help you resolve any that weren't installed. So, click Restart now to continue installing the updates. A progress message will appear which usually gets to about 30% and then the machine restarts. So after the restart, the installation continues and once you're back in Windows, repeat the above steps. You may have to do this a couple of times. Some updates won't show on the list until earlier updates have been installed, so it's a good idea. Check even if you think you've done them all. We hope this guide's been helpful. If you have any further queries, please contact our customer support team.